Hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. It's always an exciting day when the car mom gets to review a minivan because this is really the pinnacle of my craft, right? It's a minivan. It's made for families. And today we are doing the 2024 Honda Odyssey EXL. And I haven't done a Honda Odyssey tour in a minute. So I'm pretty excited to dive in to this car today. If this is your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and families. I'm a mom of three and a certified child passenger safety tech. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so the Honda Odyssey did get a redesign in 2018. So this one, to be honest, isn't much different than a 2018 besides having some minor tech upgrades and just being a newer car. But it did get a big body style change in 17, so just note that. Front end, you guys, it looks like a minivan. This is a silver bullet, if you will. Let's get to the side profile. Okay, here we have the side profile of the Honda Odyssey, right? I mean, this is a big three-row SUV vehicle. And it's nice and long and looks like a minivan. I mean, huge doors, it does all the things. But if you're gonna be a minivan, put the tracks inside the window. The fact that the Kia Carnival comes out with a minivan and doesn't have the tracks in the window, come on, this cleans it up, this hides it. And this was one of my favorite upgrades from the 2017 model year. So I think that is like 10 points to Gryffindor in the Honda Odyssey. Okay, let's move to the trunk. Okay, and then here's the back end of the Honda Odyssey. So. Some things with the Odyssey. And if you're wondering like what minivans for you, I have an entire minivan showdown post on my blog. We will link it in the description box below, but it covers everything. All the differences, compares them. It will help you find your perfect minivan. So what the Honda Odyssey doesn't have that like maybe the Toyota Sienna does have is the ability to have all wheel drive and be a hybrid. At this time in 2024, the Odyssey does not offer those features. However, the Odyssey, the Odyssey offers some pretty cool party tricks of Rome that you can't find on the Sienna. So let's get into the interior. We're going start breaking down the safety and tech features and then we're going to get to this car seat setup all right you guys here we are in the mom mobile in the honda odyssey let's break down this door panel first of all i'm loving the mocha interior and what i like what they do from a design element is they like that I inc they include that mocha leather color but in a hard plastic variety it's cost effective but it's also still giving me a nice two-tone kind of look this door panel's got it going on look at this a door cup holder are you kidding me to a door cup holder amazing plus cubbies 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 this thing has the storage another thing i love about the minivans is how many ways you can open the doors right not only do they slide but they're power so you can open them from here from the key from the door and i think that just makes things so much easier for getting kids in and out i just can hit this button it opens i can hit it again and it's going to close that is freaking convenient. This is what sells people. Everyone says no until they start playing around with these sliding doors. And I haven't even shown you my favorite parts of this car yet. So let's get over to the other side. Okay, so here we have the command center, right? The spaceship. People love this interior of the Honda Odyssey. And you know what? I kind of get it. Like, at least compared to some other cars in the Honda lineup, it does feel slightly more integrated. And because everything's here, it opens up a lot of nice storage. So we, of course, have a half digital dash right here. We move into our display. It's very standard throughout the Honda display. All of our climbing control is very nicely pulled out here. Very easy to operate. Heated seats. We have our gear selector, two, uh, sorry, a USB C, and then some nice open area right here. A great place to put a purse, to put something like that. We will go into all of the storage cup holders, a nice center console with a USB C, sorry, with a USB and an aux, and then two more cup holders back here as well. We have a sunroof. We have adjustable armrests. Now the Honda Odyssey has great crash prevention technology that's found on all trim levels and it's an IIHS top safety pick plus which is the highest award by the IIHS and something I always like to see on a car. Here I am in the second row of this 24 Honda Odyssey and we're going to break down my passenger amenities. Okay so first of all I've got good knee clearance. I've got good head clearance. This seat is pushed all the way back and I'm feeling pretty comfortable. I have vents here on the side of the car which is not my preference. And prior to 2017, the Honda Odyssey had vents on the ceiling. So I'm a little salty that they moved them to the side because for rear facing kids, they're just not getting the ventilation that I would like. But moving on from that, I have some other really nice features that I like. Two USBs down there. I have got a power door, a leather back pocket and built-in sunshades, which is awesome. Okay, we also have a 
uh, cup holder on the side of this sliding door, which is top freaking notch. Let's talk about the climate control. I love that it's on the top of the ceiling instead of on the back of the center console. One, it's easier for mom to quickly take a glance at, and also you don't have to worry about little feet trying to hit it. You will have to worry about little hands trying to hit it, but you can't have it all. And as far as my car seat hardware is concerned, we've got a lot to talk about, right? We have lower anchors and tether anchors in every seat in the second row. And in the third row, we have lower anchors on both outboard seats and tether anchors across the back. So that's talking about five sets of lower anchors and six tether anchors, which is as good as you're going to get. So I am very, very excited about that. But we are not even close to done because you've got to see the party tricks of this Honda Odyssey. So one thing I really love about the Odyssey is that you can get the eight seater option standard. Highest trim, it's what it comes in. Some other minivans like the Sienna, you don't get the bench seat available on all trim levels, which is really frustrating. Now this Honda Odyssey bench, you guys, it's best in class. It's trailblazing, it's unique. It's never been done before. She is it. She is what we compare all other bench seats to for a couple of reasons. One being that there's all three separate seats. So that means these seats can work and operate independently. So. You can stagger them. You can access the third row with a seat installed here. And they each have their own set of lower anchors and tether anchors. She is a three across machine. She can do it all. She can do anything. We have flexible buckles. There's nothing she can't do, truly. I also love that the seat belts in the second row are attached to the seat instead of the ceiling, meaning that you can operate and move a car seat forward and backwards if you have a car seat installed with the seat belt. So many vehicles put the seat belt on the door instead of the seat and it really limits what you can do as far as movement with car seats installed. Okay, she also has a removable middle seat. So you want a bench, you want a captain's chair. It's a DIY project, you get a pick. Okay, so the middle seat moves out and now we are left with captain's chairs with a nice wide aisle, which obviously is going to be great for third row access if you only need to have two people up here. But you guys, it gets even better. Let's go to the other side. The Honda Odyssey has trademarked what we call the magic slide. And it is the best kind of third row access you could ask for. As you can see, I was able to slide this outboard seat to the middle, even though this car seat is rear facing and installed with a seat belt, which is something with a car seat friendly tilt, you're not able to do. And now I have third row access. And that's icon it's iconic, it's iconic. And here I am in the third row of the Odyssey and I wanna just talk about my comfort a bit. I'm in the middle seat and I'm actually pretty comfortable. We've got uh, vents here with cup holders, no charging in this trim level, which is interesting, also no third row sunshades, which is also kind of interesting and shocking to me. I do like that I have my leather back pockets back here with these seats. That's just kind of a nice little addition for some storage. And I'm pretty comfortable. I've got good knee clearance and these are with these seats put, these are with these seats pushed all the way back and I still feel really good about my knee clearance. We have removable headrests across this third row bench as well flexible buckles. I already told you about the car seat setup. So overall, pretty comfy. And I love that I can just so easily slide out right here. Now you can drive with the seat here or on the other side. So you can absolutely slide this seat in one time and then leave it there. Okay, here we have a shot of the Honda Odyssey truck with a Mockingbird stroller in here. And what I love about minivan trunks is they are so deep. So you can literally put a stroller like this and have this whole half of the trunk for extra storage as well. When, I, when we talk about, and I've done a video on this between SUVs and minivans, and when we talk about cubic feet, you have to remember that a cubic foot is like sometimes the air, right? So it doesn't always equal more space, but what's great about a minivan is because it's so deep and high, you have similar cubic feet to something like the Yukon um, XL. However, the way that this trunk functions, you actually might be able to fit a little bit more. And then down here with everything pulled out, I mean, just look at all that space. It's really freaking nice and deep. We've got some extra storage underneath here. This is like perfect to keep diapers and wipes and like maybe some, I mean, can you imagine like you just have built-in cubbies? It's so nice and it just keeps getting better because the Odyssey also has one of the most iconic features, one of a kind, tailgate mode. What's tailgate mode? It's a sofa in your minivan. It's, it's, it's at the soccer game. It's trunk or treat. It's at the park. Place to have a bed for it. This is just it, you guys. This is it. This is what people talk about. This is what people do minivans. I'm, obs I'm obsessed. Obsessed. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this Honda Odyssey tour. She's car seat friendly, obviously. 
she's reliable she's safe there's a if you can get past the looks of a minivan and if you're ready to be a minivan mom i think that they are so functional for families and if you want to know more about the differences between all the minivans and learn all about their party tricks i'm going to link my minivan showdown in the description box below it's thorough but trust me it's going to answer every question you have and i'll talk to you guys next time